In the Natural Science Award category, a Fudan University chemistry professor took home first prize for creating a new method for synthesizing ordered mesoporous carbon materials. Conventional syntheses can only produce randomly porous materials with little control over the distribution and size of the pores. The new material has pores sized between 2 and 50 nanometers and has a wide range of applications as catalysts or as advanced electronic materials. This project allows us to make all kinds of materials like plastic and rubber porous. These materials can henceforth become permeable. Shanghai's agricultural scientist Luo Lijun took home first prize for developing drought-resistant rice that can grow as a dry crop. Regular rice paddies often generate a significant amount of methane gas, which contributes to climate change. The dry rice strain reduces that considerably. The drought-resistant rice strain reduces water use by more than 50 percent and methane emissions by 90 percent. United Imaging's three-Tesla magnetic resonance imaging device took home first prize in the technological invention category. These machines have double the signal strength of regular scanners and provide extremely clear images. The invention allowed China to break the monopoly of overseas manufacturers. Our resolution is 10 times higher than before, and the overall scan time is five times faster. Among this year's honorees, 48 projects were led or jointly developed by Shanghai scientists, that is representing 17.5 percent of the total. They have worked with scientists from 26 other cities. Half of them are in Jiangsu, Zhejiang and Anhui. Shanghai's Science Commission says this shows the city's capacity to collaborate with institutions from the Yangtze Delta region. Su Zixi, Shanghai Live.